Hello, this is Geekstars with a new review today. Today we're taking a look inside this box which I was sent recently. It's been a long awaited review of this product because I've been wanting to get my hands on it for quite some time. So let's see what's inside. Put the box inside. This is the Dell XPS 13 2 in 1 convertible laptop. This is the 9365 model. It's running the latest generation of Intel i7 mobile processors. It has eight gigabytes of DDR3 soldered on RAM. It has a 256 gigabyte SSD. Uh, it has Intel 615 HD graphics, as well as uh, two USB-C stroke Thunderbolt 3 ports, a headphone jack, a memory micro SD card reader, and um, a Kensington lock. Uh, this is one of Dell's highest premium quality laptops. It's built using premium materials such as the 2 mil thick um, aluminium on the bottom and top as well as going inside the laptop. It yeah. seems to be made of a beautiful carbon fibre material. It's very very nice and very tactile to touch. Um, it's got a very nice large trackpad as well as a beloved fingerprint reader which I've been missing on my other laptops. Um, it's got a very nice metal hinges, it's very very strong so it's very very nice to turn. You can see it's just completely razor sharp and thin as well. So it does fold all the way as well, so you could just pop it like that, so you use it as a complete tablet. Um, on first impressions of this, it's very very nice, I've been using it for the past few days and it's been a very very nice experience. Um, so let's just see what the boot types. So I'll switch it on now. So whilst that's switching on, um, Realistically, this has been slightly slower than its competitors. Um, I have been seeing boot times approximately 15 to 20 seconds compared to some of the competitors of probably about 10 seconds. Um, however, I don't see these days that the reasons for shutting computers down as often. So you probably just leave this on in standby anyway because it does just boot into Windows in literally half a second was from standby. Um, okay, so you said that wasn't that long. It was about 15 seconds. Um, Again, okay, this is a very premium laptop. It's just made out of very premium materials. It's very, very fast. That very that Intel i7 KB Lake processor, it's, it's just a wonder to use. On paper, it seems quite underpowered, but actually using it, it's, it, it seems ideal. It's very, very fast, it's very responsive, and it does make the most of that beautiful edge-to-edge -edge infinity screen. Um, you can see the viewing angles are very impressive as well. Very, very impressive. And because it is edge to edge, this actually fits in the form factor of its various competitors in their 11.6 inch range. And this is actually a 13.3 inch screen, which is very impressive. It has a very, very nice sound because the speakers are on both sides near the front. So when you do watch content, it actually sounds very impressive. It actually beats um, the HP NV Bang & Olufsen setup they have. So the, some of the negatives on this I would find is that it has a chin cam. So It'd be fine if you're using it in tablet mode like this on the table. Um, however, when you're using it as a laptop view, it's not as flattering as many others. Um, it does run quite hot. That's because it is so razor thin, so they didn't have space to put a fan inside. Um, that's probably one of the reasons why it has too much thick aluminium on the bottom um, to try to dissipate some of that heat. Um, I was creating a Photoshop document inside this and it did start to run quite hot. Um, I did just move to a table because that was on my lap and it seemed to uh, dissipate it much better. So my, one of my favourite parts of this laptop is how compact it is. It's just tiny when you just fold it away. It's just, it just fits into any bag. It's almost the size of an A4 piece of paper. Um, and being so, power books are very important. Most power books are huge even on these compact laptops. But this has one of the, one of the tiniest power books I've seen. It's a USB-C power brick and um, you can charge your phone as well as the laptop as it's a switching voltage. This, just to go show some of the details such as uh, Dell went to with this XPS laptop, even the serial numbers are hidden under a metal flap door so it's just to look better. Okay, so that has been a quick look at the Dell XPS 2-in-1 convertible laptop. It is the 9365 model it's running the Intel i7 processor. It has eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. It has 256 gigabytes of solid state storage. It has the Intel 615 HD graphics. Um, it has two Thunderbolt 
support three strokes USB-C sockets, um, headphone jack, a micro SD card reader, and a power indicator, as well as a Kensington lock. It has a fingerprint reader, which is very, very useful as they seem to be missing from some of the other flagships from other companies. Um, again, I do recommend this if you're looking for a high quality premium machine. Um, it is quite on the expensive side, but it does put it on a par with Apple products. Um, okay, so that's been me, Geek Stars, and I'll be seeing you soon.